Greeting of the day, my dear fourth class students. I'm Naveen. Hope you all are doing good. Uh, my dear students, in this video, I'm going to talk about the final uh, unit of your English literature book and the chapter uh, which is Pinocchio. So, students, let's start the story. So, um, what happened in the story? The story uh, starts with an old carpenter and who bought a very queer piece of wood it means a kind of interesting piece piece of wood um, a unique piece of wood right and now what then he decided to do something with that when he was doing something or when he was when he used i mean um, his plane on it he had a little laughing voice right so it was a kind of weird uh, piece of wood when the carpenter started working on it he heard that kind of you know um, whispering voice and laughing voice at the moment then he decided to do something different with that piece of wood right students so now the the old carpenter decided to make a puppet with that you know a talking puppet with that piece of wood so he uh, made all his parts he started with his face he created his face then his nose and um, then finally he gave it a complete shape of a boy right so there was one interesting point with that puppet when he was making that puppet as you can uh, see through that uh, pictures so you can relate the story like so when he was doing i mean making his face so the puppet started talking and making fun of carpenter right and um, the puppet um, always disturbed the carpenter while he was doing or making something right so the carpenter decided that um, you know he will uh, do something for the puppet and um, and he will send the puppet i mean that pinocchio he gave him a name pinocchio right uh, there is one thing that we need to find out he gave that puppet a name pinocchio right he sent pinocchio to the to school but there was one problem with that boy with that with that puppet talking puppet which he called pinocchio right uh, pinocchio um, i mean uh, did not pay attention at school and he always make fun and uh, of other people and there was there was one interesting point whenever he uh, lied or whenever he you know tried to pretend something and started lying then his nose grew longer there was one point right so whenever he lied his his nose grew longer as you can uh, see through that picture at last what happened one day Pinocchio um, I mean um, you know uh, he did nothing but look for fun when he uh, he's been sent to school so he often uh, ran away from the school then one day uh, the old carpenter asked him why 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 don't you go to school and why don't you pay attention there right he was quite frustrated or annoyed at the moment with that puppet at last the puppet realized or that boy realized Pinocchio and he promised the carpenter and himself also that he would never lie again and he will uh, be like a real boy. I mean he will do all his activity uh, while in school or um, somewhere else. So he will behave well and um, that that's he promised to that carpenter so the story ends there and uh, there is one thing that we need to you know learn through the story students uh, speaking a lie or telling a lie um, will always um, you know make you uncomfortable and make problem for you so remember one thing um, just do your work with honesty and honest people are always Honest people are always, you know, uh, respected. So that's the learning point that you can take forward um, and apply in your life. Right, students? So that's all in the story, students. I will meet you in the next video. Hope you enjoyed and liked the video. And don't forget to subscribe the channel and like and share the video. So thank you and have a